crazy. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Derek and Jasmine, also known as the ATL Flippers, and we are full-time resellers on eBay and Macari. So for those who watched the last video, you guys know that I ended up rupturing my Achilles playing basketball. And um, here, go right here. See, the crutch is right here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're just leaving the doctor's office now. Yep, and we decided, you know, while we were already out, well, this guy actually wanted to go thrifting. It's I was like, we can down. go home. But he was like, you know, babe, we got to keep it pushing. So, keep it going. yeah, we're going to go to some thrift stores. You know, he may be hopping around a little bit. I'll probably catch more inventory than you actually, babe. This is one of the few times I can yeah. probably beat you with it. Yeah, you probably could, you know. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. But, now nah, we like challenging challenging each other. But, you know, you guys know that we're one team Absolutely. because we're one. And we're the ATL flippers. So, yeah. you know, um, yeah, so I got my crutches right here. Yeah, so and... we're going to hobble into these thrift stores. But, hey, we appreciate y'all's support. Oh, yeah. All of the well wishes you guys have already sent us. Thank y'all so much. I'm going to take care of this guy. Don't worry. But in the meantime, let's get into these thrift stores. Let's get it. First thrift store, Consignment Furniture Depot. Look at him, y'all, hobbling to the thrift store. This is what we deal with, y'all. But we committed, though. You say anything good, baby? Yup, found some Echo boots. Uh-oh. All right. In the buggy. Look at you working on one leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is that tag team action. You see ATL flipper on one row, I'm on one row, and this is how it goes. It's a nice thrift store, it's a new spot for us, but we're trying it out. In the meantime, my poor husband's still hobbling. Look at him. He's so committed, y'all. All right, y'all, I had to sit down because I uh, put a lot of pressure on my left hip. But um, found these Echo, you see women, boots right here. They're actually half off, and we can get around $30 to $40 for them. What else we do? Found this Peter Millar hat right here, $2. And it sells for around like $10 to $14. Um, brand new, I've seen some for like $20. but. Uh, yeah, found that hat, and then found this tailor-made hat right here, and again, $2, and it sells for around like $15, too. All right, you guys, so we're just leaving out from the other spot. We found a few things, right, boo? Oh, yeah, found some good stuff. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's going so, down. So we're going to head to another thrift store, right, or what you want to do? What you want to do? Let's go to another store. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're actually trying out some new spots out by my husband's new doctor. So, you know, it's giving us an opportunity to explore other sides of Atlanta. So we're going to go into the next thrift store and we'll take y'all with us on the inside. The next thrift store is the thrift store. <laughs> Literally. I already got some nice stuff. Thanks for helping me, babe. You're welcome. Good job, boo. You got this. All right, you guys, so I actually took upstairs for my husband since obviously he can't walk up the stairs. But look what I found, you guys. You think ATL Flipper would like this? This is what he need in his life. I didn't find anything, but I did find this boot. <laughs> Let's see what he got to say about it. Something for you? <laughs> you like Not my size. Because I think he needs this. I'm gonna need a label. Not right now, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is a size medium. That's your size. No, I'm gonna need a size yeah. 3X. <sighs> hey, what's going on, guys? We have somebody special here, the owner named Daniel. Daniel, hey. tell us a little bit about uh, the Yeah, so we are a uh, nonprofit, 100%. We help special needs adults and children. And we, um, we give back through different programs. We have a school, we have houses where they live and everything from the thrift store goes back. Oh Super yeah. Dope. So if you guys are in the Atlanta area, listen, Giving Tree is in Shambly, Georgia off of Peachtree Road. So we're giving them a shout out. They've been open, you guys, for a year and they're doing amazing work with the special needs. And so oh, yeah. if you guys want to support a good cause and also do your thrifting for a really, really great deal, make sure you check out our friend Daniel here at yeah. Giving Tree and show him <laughs> some love, you guys. Yep, 5449 Peachtree Road. Oh yeah. Awesome. And you know, you may catch us in there too, so. We appreciate you guys for rocking with us today. We're also going to show you guys some of the things that we found a little bit later. All right? See y'all in a little bit. Peace. All right, you guys. So we finally made it back to the house, and we want to show you this item that we got from our friend Daniel at Giving Tree. Oh, yeah. 
So shout out to Daniel at Giving Tree. Yep, yep. Um, he hooked us up with these women Ugg slippers, not boots, <laughs> and they're a size nine. And when we saw them in the store, we thought they were used, and we was like, we probably get like fifty dollars for them. But when we got home and we looked them up, guys, these are brand spanking new. So we can get over a hundred dollars for them. And yeah, shout out to Daniel again. And if you guys are in the area, you guys go ahead and stop by and let them know that the ATL flippers have sent you all. The next day. Hey guys, what's going on? I just want to give you guys an update on my Achilles injury. So I'm actually feeling a lot better today. I haven't taken any pain medicines and uh, I don't really feel a lot of pain right now. So that's a good thing. But tomorrow I'm actually going to get uh, the surgery done. So I'm excited about that. So you guys just keep me in your prayers. Three days later. Hey guys, what's going on? It's the third day since I've had my surgery and it was a success. Thank you guys for all the prayers. But the first day y'all, it was crazy. Like after the anesthesia wore off, the pain came like crazy. And I literally like was screaming, like crying. It was, it, this, that was the worst pain I've ever felt in my life, for real. But um, as you can see, um, I know the light looks a little different. That's because I'm using my phone light right here because I can't get up. Um, I can't move this leg at all. So uh, yeah, I'm using my phone light. So they put me in a cast. It's actually a soft cast. So it's soft right here and underneath it's really hard just to protect my Achilles from, you know, re-injuring or anything like that. And I have to wear it for, I think, I think like two to three weeks and then they're going to put me in a boot. I'm really excited right now because the surgery went well, but not just that, but I get time to just sit down for a little bit and spend quality time with, you know, with God, with myself, with my family. And that's one of the, the main things that I'm looking at right now is that I have time to just recoup, relax for a little bit, um, game plan for the next uh, season in my life and in my family's life and just go hardcore when it's time for me uh, <laughs> me to get better and, and, and I can walk again, you know. But um, thank you guys again for just always uh, reaching out. Those of you guys who sent stuff, I really appreciate it for all the calls that you guys have done. Um, just the love is real, man. And I really just appreciate you guys so much for all the, the things that you guys have done for me during this whole process. You know, and it actually just got started. My wife, she's actually, I'm going to uh, take my daughter. I believe it's a Chattanooga, Tennessee. She has a cheer tournament. And I know she said it's a Goodwill. I think she looked it up. And she said she saw a Goodwill bands or something. So hopefully she'll, you know, shoot some footage and show you guys uh, what's happening in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So thank you guys again. And I'm going to see you all uh, later. All right, family, so we are doing a family road trip with my legit, legit family. Y'all say hey to my baby sis. Hey, I call her Nuno, but her name is Miranda. And so I'm excited, you guys. So my daughter today has competitive cheerleading. So we are all the way out here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Woo, woo, ATL. Now we say it at the same time. <laughs> That's how y'all know we sister. <laughs> but listen, y'all, I got my gear on, my cheer mom outfit. So we just dropped my daughter off. And so we got about three hours before she performs. And so I think we're going to slide to a Goodwill real quick. But before we do that, I need to shout out my baby sis. So I'm not the only entrepreneur in the family, but my baby sis has a cosmetics line and so i'm gonna let her share with you guys so y'all can show some love to the baby sis shout out to the family and jeremiah back there y'all y'all can't forget jeremiah say right. hey son okay y'all that's him saying hey all right no tell him about it Okay, so hey y'all, my name is Miranda and I'm the owner of Comeback Cosmetics. We are a luxury beauty brand based in Atlanta. Okay. okay. But we ship all around the world. We ship all around the world. We sell Yoni products, we sell body butters, body oils, body scrubs, everything you need for your self-care routine, your body care routine, we got you covered. We got you covered. And so you guys can check her out. I'm going to put the website below. It's ComebackCosmetics.com. You can follow her on Instagram. And Come back cosmetics. And cosmetics with an X, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, X, yes. yeah, but it'll be down below, you guys. So, anyways, baby sis is rocking with me today. Hopefully, we'll find some good stuff for yeah. ATL flippers at home. <laughs> He's on his good. crutches. I checked on him, y'all. Hopefully he's okay because the whole crew is out today. But hey, we appreciate y'all rocking with us. Hopefully we'll find some good stuff at this outlet spot. See y'all in a few.
All right, you guys, so we just put up in the spot. Y'all see it in the background, Goodwill Outlet. There's not really that many people here, y'all, so. Hey. Well, it is a few it people. Is early. We're gonna take y'all inside with us and we're gonna see what they rocking. Right, Jeremiah? No? Okay, no, we're not gonna show y'all. <laughs> This is very different. Okay. All right, y'all see all the inventory. Look, y'all, we even got my baby sis looking at some clothes. Y'all see all this inventory, man? It's like clothes for days, y'all. It's gonna take a minute to look through this. I actually need both hands, so we'll check it out. And I'll be back. Y'all see this for the price tag? Zero to ten pounds, one thirty-nine. Wow. Jeremiah, you good? No, it's a Lego. You want Legos? Okay, let's check on Auntie Nina. What you got, sis? It's kind of like messy art, right? Yeah, I know. I like it. Okay, sis. Cute. So we shopping a shop or we shopping a flip? Shopping a what? We shopping a shop or shopping a flip? To flip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> struggles when you are thrifted without the ATL flipper. Child on the hip. Let's go. Y'all, this is crazy. All right, y'all. It's getting real. He's bringing more inventory. I'm gonna go back in. Wow. We got these in the case, huh? It's pretty cool. Got these Uggs for... Watch out, Jeremiah. $15, some Baby J's, some Sorrel. I think those are Spirits back there. What else do you see, Jeremiah? So they do it by the pound, y'all. All right, you guys, we finally made it out of there. Y'all saw how crazy it was, but it ain't got nothing on ATL, but still, Chattanooga gave me a run for my money. So I ended up only spending $12, you guys. Y'all see the receipt? And that was only because I ended up rounding up. It was really like $11 and some change. So the biggest item I found in there, you guys, and I had to record outside because it was just too much going on. I got this Jack Spade bag, this little messenger bag. As you guys can see, I saw it automatically, you guys, and saw the great quality of it. You see how spacious it is. When I looked online, the comps, it was going for about $50 to $60. So probably my biggest flip out here. So, hey, shout out to Jack Spade. All right, the next item up, you guys, I just got this Under Armour Scully cap. Y'all know it's already cold, even though it feels really great out here. So it wasn't going for much, but here's the thing. This Goodwill paid by the pound, so it was only $1.39 by the pound. So this is going for about 15 to 20 bucks online, so we flipped it too. Also, you guys, I found these Polo by Ralph Lauren shorts. Y'all see? And so it's not like the normal price. Like I said, I just did the pound and the bundle and ended up paying $12 for all of this stuff. All together, oh yeah. And I also got these Nike sweatpants. You know, you can't go wrong with Nike. It's the legit brand. So just size 14 to 16. And so as much as I saw you guys, I was just throwing it in the bag because honestly, it was so crazy in there. But hey, if we have time, we'll try to hit some more thrift stores. But in the meantime, we gotta go see my baby perform and I'll show you some footage from that too. So we survived that crazy thrifting run. Jeremiah is calm. My sis got some cute stuff. I got some cute stuff. So y'all probably are gonna see like cheerleader galore. I'm gonna give y'all a sneak preview. But anyways, we made it. And so thank y'all for rocking with us while we're here in Chattanooga. We'll check in with y'all later. And there's my JJ. Practicing with her team. JJ say hey. Or don't say hey, stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> 